What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It is December 1st, 2017, and that means it is week number 12 of Xur. Xur is located on the EDZ by the Winding Cove. We're gonna mark him, and let's go see what he has in his Quickie Mart this week. Xur! What's up, dude? I bring gifts of the so, night. like always, we're gonna start with the left-hand side. Huge. We have Sweet Business, which is an exotic auto rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is Payday, which gives you larger magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. Then we have Polygon Rifling, high caliber rounds, uh, Business Time, which holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire and automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine. Then we have Composite Stock, as well as a Weapon Attack Mod. I actually have a uh, ornament for this as well. So, real quick, if you are a Titan, and this can actually go any way, but if you are a Titan, this thing is like godly to you. And the reason why I say that is when you have the Actium rig on as well as the, the smaller barricade, oh my god, this thing can shoot for days. So I swear, if you guys don't have this, by all means grab it, because this thing is awesome in PvE, it's awesome if you know how to use it in PvP, as in, you come around corners shooting, but this thing is just wow. So go ahead and grab it, I definitely would consider it a tier 2 in PvE, as well as PvP, if not a tier 1.5, which makes it even better. Um, but definitely grab this exotic, because if you can actually utilize this like to its full potential you can like wreck havoc next up we'll be going over is the lucky raspberry for the hunter class whoops with two times mobility and resilience sorry about that you try to perk on this is mobility matrix which increases the chaining capabilities of arc bolt grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage then we have Plus Steel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, and this comes with an Arc Ordinance Mod, which you can obviously change. Now, Lucky Raspberry is okay. There are better exotics out there for the uh, Hunter, but this probably would be in at least the top... F uh, I want to say eh, top five, um, specifically for your Pole Dancer. Uh, yeah, probably top five specifically for your pole dancer. You know, I, I really do feel that there are better exotics like the Raiden Flux. <laughs> Some people uh, get mad at me for not saying correctly, but uh, this is definitely up there. So I probably would rate this a tier two in PVE as well as PVP. So by all means, go ahead and grab this. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Synthoseps for the. Titan class, and you get two times resilience and one recovery. Treasure perk on this is Biotic Enhancements, which increase melee lunge range, improve melee damage when surrounded, as well as Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, Restorative Mod, and this actually has Kinetic Munition Loader. Guardian, now, you know if I'm correct, Xur sold this not too long ago, and my feelings on it hasn't changed much. You Titans already have a long range, you know, you, you really don't need something to make your melee range longer at all. So w what's the point of having it? You might, you may get it like two inches longer, which really isn't shit. So I, I really don't feel like this is a very useful exotic. You guys should definitely focus more so on the Actium War Rig, even though it's not being sold this week. But the Actium War Rig is freaking amazing. I hope I'm saying that right. But uh, as for the Synthoseps, I, I wouldn't waste your time on your melee range when, you know, Titans don't have that much problem in melee range in Destiny 2 as they did Destiny 1. So, this thing is most likely going to get a 3.5 to Tier 4 in PvE as well as PvP. It's not a bad exotic, which is why it doesn't get a Tier 5, but there are better exotics out there for the Titan. Next and final exotic we will be going over is the Skull of Diahamkara for the Warlock with one mobility, resilience, and recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is actual uh, 
Grandeur. Hope I said that right. Whatever, it doesn't matter if I did. Uh, <laughs> and this provides additional damage resistance during Nova Bomb. Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. Now, this is a blast on the past from Destiny 1, and they actually changed it a little bit, so it's a little bit like the original Skull of Diaham Ahamkara from Destiny 1, as well as the Obsidian Mind. So, yeah, they kind of put both of those together in one um, helmet. This also comes with Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, as well as Void Paragon Mod. Now, this is an okay exotic, but truthfully, if you have your Void Walker set up with the uh, Two Men of Hunger, as well as Karnstein Armlets or uh, Nazarek Sin, then you really don't have to worry about your Nova Bomb because you could just, you know, use other exotics over uh, the Skull of Dyer Ahamkara. So it's really kind of pointless since there are better exotics out there but if you just like the helmet i mean you can get it you know it's not a bad exotic but there are better ones out there so because of this i am going to have to rate the skull of dire Aham ahamkara i keep saying it wrong <laughs> the skull of dire ahamkara as a 2.5 in pve as well as pvp maybe even a tier 3 and that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.